the resurgence of a, a virulent anti-Semitism in France, uh, in the rest of Europe, in Germany of all places. There are shops in Italy that, that have, as a, um, under the guise of boycotting Israeli goods, have signs saying to boycott Jewish merchants and uh, merchandise. So it's, this is the old anti-Semitism returning, which is what is so disheartening. Yep. All right. Uh, joining us now to talk about all that and more is Morton Mort Klein, president of ZOA, Zionist Organization of America. And uh, by the way, economist, former economist in the Nixon, Ford and Carter administrations. Not too many people know that. Good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, and I also was a biostatistician with the Linus Pauling Institute of Science and Medicine. I was in medical research for many years. People don't know that. Oh, man. We should keep <laughs> you all show and talk about the economy, the jobs numbers, the and, vaccinations. And disease, and that's yeah, right. But, but, but let's, uh, okay. let's focus on what we're here to focus on. Uh, first of all, you know, the... Yeah, this, this, why are we giving any credence to this uh, claim by ISIS today that Jordan's airstrikes have killed an American hostage that ISIS was holding? This is a group that was negotiating the release of a hostage in exchange for someone who was dead. I mean, why are we even believing them? Uh, they'll say anything they want that thinks promotes their agenda. Obviously, people who can be as evil as they are and murdering human beings certainly have no problem lying. <laughs> and they'll say anything that needs to be said that they think promotes their agenda. You know, their words uh, don't necessarily mean, mean yeah. anything whatsoever. I, mean, I can see them sitting <laughs> back and watching CNN and all the other cable stations around the world and saying, ah, <laughs> let's say something else tomorrow. Okay, the rise of anti-Semitism, you know, it, 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 we saw the rise go, uh, go up. Uh, we saw it go up with uh, the, uh, the war in Gaza. Uh, we're, we're actually seeing it go up now because of ISIS. And, uh, and people, people tend to say, well, we don't have anything against Jews. We just don't like Israel, and they use that as a as a as a pretense to uh, to go after Jews. Well, first of all, we should be acutely aware that almost all the anti-Semitism that's around uh, uh, that's rising up in the world mm -hmm. is Islamic anti-Semitism. It's almost entirely Muslims, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the majority of Muslims in their own polls, Palestinian Authority, Egypt, Jordan, Qatar, uh, say they don't want Israel to exist. Period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if you, if you say Israel should not exist, mm -hmm. it means you hate Jews. If I say Italy should not exist, it's not because I'm <laughs> anti the country of Italy. Obviously, right. I hate Italians. Right. So right. this is nonsense. Uh, obviously, you can criticize Israel in a legitimate way. Mm -hmm. But these, uh, the Palestinian Authority and these, uh, many of these Muslims, they want Israel destroyed. They don't care what the borders are, mm -hmm. including the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian Authority was offered a state in 2000 and 2008. They turned it down both times mm -hmm. without uh, counteroffers. I will say this, and no one says this. Mm -hmm. The Palestinian Authority does not want a Palestinian state if it means accepting Israel. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And that's why they turn it down every time, even in history. 1937, the Peel Commission, they turned it down. 48, they turned it down. Now 2000, 2008. Uh, because the goal is Israel's destruction. They don't want a Jewish state. I call it the, p <laughs> the peace process, spelled P-I-E-C-E. -E, destroy Israel piece by piece. And, and they want two states. Their two-state solution is a Palestinian state free of any Jews and a, 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 an Israel with the right of return, so-called, where they'd be overrun by Palestinians. That's their two-state solution. And Mahmoud Abbas of the Palestinian Authority told Obama two months ago, I know this from my friends at the White House, <laughs> that if you require me, uh, Obama said to him, if I can get you to 67 borders, <laughs> will you accept it and say no further claims and, no, and forget refugees? He said, no, I will not sign anything that says no further claims, Abbas said to Obama, and I will never, ever give up on the refugee issue. All right, Let's <laughs> start, uh, which is not, not surprising. Let's talk about the Netanyahu invitation here. Do you believe Benjamin Netanyahu will, in fact, stick to his guns and come to Congress in March, or will he back out? I think the odds are 50-50. Mm -hmm. that he will come 50-50 uh, he'll back out he's uh, under enormous pressure now mm -hmm. uh, from many political people from Jewish leaders and I think they're wrong Netanyahu should come to the United States mm -hmm. and speak about a serious issue that affects us as Americans right anyone who says uh, the congressional people who say babies should not come and speak about the danger of Iran getting nuclear weapons mm -hmm. to me are anti-patriots it's anti-American we need to hear from an expert on this issue mm -hmm. that affects us for our own security as to what his ideas are as uh, how best to proceed with the nuclear project. Mm -hmm. are, 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 other Jew are other Jewish groups, mm -hmm. uh, are there specific yeah. Jewish groups that are urging him not yes. to come? Abe Foxman of the Anti-Defamation League has publicly said to Netanyahu mm -hmm. he should unaccept and publicly said to John Boehner, disinvite him. This is the head of the Anti-Defamation League. What's wrong with him <laughs> and, and groups like that? What's wrong with them? I mean, I'm, you I'm, think of self-hating, but I don't want to even <laughs> say that. What's wrong with them? 
Sorry to say, most Jews, just as in the past, are frightened appeasement Jews. <laughs> this is all appeasement, not to want to upset uh, those people in power. <laughs> it's very, very, very sad. It, it is very sad. All right. Well, listen, I, I, you, you do great work everywhere. Is it ZOA. Uh, ZOA.org. .org, right. Oh, ZOA.org. <laughs> Learn more about the uh, great uh, Zionist organization of America, folks. And um, Mort Klein, always great to see you, sir. Thank you so Thanks, much. Sir. Thanks for having me. All right, folks, we will be back with more of the uh, very aptly named Steve Malzberg Show. It's coming up next right here, only, of course, on Newsmax Television. Uh, don't go away. It's Friday, by the way. It's Friday.